Got a treat for you. Oh. I bet that I'm looks so amazing. Excited. That's that's going to be the closest thing to like real food that you've had in a bit. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. It's Monday. Lord of mercy. I'm going to go back. I'm still using the phone to record stuff because I filled. Oh, that's so good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I filled the camera while we were in Atlanta and I haven't had a chance to dump it because I don't even have my computer plugged in upstairs. I'll get to it. In the meantime, I'll record more, a few more things on the phone. Um, now, as of today, Mal can start moving into like, it's, it's a transition, right? You transition slowly into stuff that's a little more hearty. Um, and one of the things that she can have is avocado toast. Avocados are really good. Yeah. My mom was... Wheat uh, bread. My, my mom brought over some, uh, some avocados and left them here yesterday, which is really, really nice. Um, so excited about that. It means I'm also going to have some avocado toast. Today is going to be a slightly strange day because I'm going to continue taking care of Mount, of course. But I'm also going to like slowly but surely transition into whatever work is going to look like for me for the next little bit. I'm not sure. I, like I said, my computer's not even hooked up. So I got to hook all that back up and then start to kind of get into a groove of like work for a little bit, take care of Mal, work for a little bit, take care of Mal, and just see how that's going to go. Also, we slept, I think we slept really well. Yeah, we did. Like we... Still have to get up every three hours, but we went to bed um, right, right around midnight because Mal got her last her pills at eleven thirty. We were in bed by midnight, and then we woke up at two thirty for pills. Mm -hmm. Went straight back to bed. Woke up at five thirty for pills. Went straight back to bed. Um, Kepler woke me up at eight. Yeah, eight on the dot, which makes sense because his food was going off at nine on the dot. Mm -hmm. But daylight savings screwed that all up. So he woke me up at 8 and was like, I'm hungry. Why is my food not going up? So uh, I took care of that. And then we ended up sleeping just about to 11. Yeah. So we slept 11 hours. We were woken up three times in there. But, yeah. you know, um, it, it's not that bad. And I think that's the most sleep we've gotten since this whole ordeal began. Yeah. But that's all right. We'll We'll continue to... We'll continue working on it. We'll, we'll get more sleep and you'll get more good food. Yeah. You're doing really good today. Yeah. You just, you just needed to be home. That's what it was all about. That's all you needed. Oh, um, and you should show your um, book. Oh, yeah. This was a gift from Dan. It's not just this. It's the other books, too. Yeah. But um, I started listening to The Adventure Zone because of Dan. And I got through... Man, which one am I on? I'm, like, on the third arc now. I finished all of Here Be Gerblins and, um, like, this whole arc, the balance mm -hmm. arc. And Dan sent me the um, graphic novelization of it. So it's really cool to go back and see it. Yeah. He's like, you know, just keep you busy. <laughs> Oh, it was sweet. Yeah. It was really sweet. Thank you, Dan. More soup for dinner. And Mao has really been relying on that Kirby pillow because um, that Kirby pillow is what she's been using to... It's nice and flat. Yeah. And it's the right size for her abdomen because if she has to cough, either voluntarily or involuntarily, one of the things in the post-op guide was to do some coughing. Actually, coughing is helpful. Yeah. Um, she can kind of brace herself a little bit with that. So it's actually been the perfect size. So uh, thanks, Kirby. Really appreciate your, uh, your assistance. Um, otherwise, continuing to make sure that Mao has her meds on time, gets her food. Uh, I didn't record it, but we took a very short walk outside earlier, which is nice because Mao has to walk several times a day. And uh, we were not able to walk outside of the condo when we were in Atlanta Partially because Mal wasn't feeling super up to it, but partially because it was freezing. Yeah. It was in the 40s while we were there, and uh, that sucked. Um, but today it was in the high 60s, so we actually scuttled around outside for just, just a little bit, just a, just a short amount of time. Um, also, and you might be able to tell from the quality change, but um, I finally got all of the stuff off of the camera, dumped onto the computer, got everything hooked back up um, upstairs, so very slowly I'm transitioning back into, into work. 
that said, um, it's all, all of this is happening at a pretty good time, you know, like for having to take care of you and, and devote time and resources to doing that because a lot of things are done. Like, there's not a whole lot of extra work that I need to work on. I mean, Mal's done with her November piece, that for one thing. But also, like, It Takes Two is already done. Um, a Way Out, which is coming out now, is already done. Extra Life, which is something that'll be coming out onto the channel, is already done. So, like, there's all of this stuff that we'll be releasing onto YouTube, and it's already done. And that helps out a lot because um, I am actually spending... It, it, it takes longer than you think, basically, to um, do the caretaking portion. Because on paper, you're like, oh, she has to get the pills. Give her the pills. And it's like, well, it's a lot more than that, because you have to give her the pills. If she, you know, if Mouse to go to the bathroom, I have to be there. Um, if she needs to go for a walk, which she does several times a day, I have to be there. If she needs anything else, I have to do that. And then I'm doing all of this on, like, the little bite size sleeps. So my, my days, my availability to be able to work, I guess, is going to be lower. But I'm extraordinarily grateful that, you know, I get to be home. Because I, I do not know how you would do this. How, like, you would need... Yeah, and you would, I mean... You need a caretaker. I feel like I could get myself up and out of, like, bed in this chair, but it's hard. Yeah. And it's really hard. And, and it, you run the... Well, the thing is... I can't is, really bend down and put on socks or shoes or anything. You run the risk of hurting yourself if mm -hmm. you strain too hard. And that's why I'm trying to be really proactive about being there and helping. But, like, this is... This sort of thing. And it's not its not just endo. It's just, like, major surgery. Like, I don't know... If you don't have someone looking out for you, I don't know how you can do it. I don't think you can. Because especially in this, like... Like, this first week... Mao is extremely dependent, and I'm trying to be there and, you know, help out, but, like, if if anyone else is in this position, like, I, I feel like their partner would have to take off work for a week because you really need, you know, mm -hmm. that sort of assistance. And again, after after a week, so, like, in a few more days, I'm, I'm thinking Mao probably will be able to do a little bit more for herself, but we're taking it slow, and because I am here and I can help out, I want to make it as smooth of a transition as possible. But in the meantime, it's nice that we can just kind of hang out yeah. and uh, spend time together. And I'm hoping that that will aid in the healing process, like being at home, being comfortable, being around me, having things available and like you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. I got to play Unite with Chaz earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So like that, I'm hoping that all of that adds in the, re the recovery speed and Mal will be able to get better even faster. Winback is such a weird inclusion. Yeah, it is. Like every other game makes sense to me. Winback is just a very strange inclusion. But I mean, you know, whatever. There's some good there's some good stuff on here. Mao is uh set up for gaming. That's actually one of the advantages of of having the the chase and the uh ottoman out here yeah. is that you can just you can do some gaming. And uh who knows what uh what you'll accomplish because you you just have a lot of downtime. You can just I have a lot of downtime. You have a lot of downtime. You can relax and play some things. There's some oh really boy. Yeah, you can play me and beam machine. You can get even better at it than you already are. And it'll be very, very scary to me. So how is Cat Quest? It's cute. You hadn't played it up to this point, had yeah, you? Yeah, no I hadn't. Yeah, I, I did a first twenty of it. Uh, I guess at this point a while ago, and I really enjoyed it. The mouse getting a chance to finally play it today, which is uh, which is nice. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, it's just about time for meds. Uh, one of the things that we've tried that has made some I say some of the meds really the oxy better is to make sure that Mal gets food before so like Mal eats something and then like 10 minutes later takes the oxy yeah. it seems to make sure that that seems to help make sure that Mal's stomach stays all right so um we're gonna have some of that well Mal's gonna have 
some of that dessert that my mom made. I'm off something else, and uh, we'll give her the meds. And then the final the final trial for this evening is um, after Mal does that, we're gonna try a shower. We're gonna try a shower. Uh, up to this point, um, we haven't done that. Uh, one day we did wipes, so you know we were able to use wipes and stuff to make Mal feel clean. But we haven't tried a shower yet, so we're gonna try that tonight. We're just gonna take it real slow. Um, the incisions can get wet, but they can't, they're not supposed to be like direct, like real wet or real scrubbed or, anything. or, or scrubbed or anything like that. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna take it slow and, and do our, do our best. And, you know, one, one of the things that, I mean, it made a lot of difference to me whenever I had the appendectomy and it's made little things so far have made a big difference to me. It's just little things that make you feel more human you know like if you go a day uh without brushing your teeth or, or so because you're just all laid up in bed like when we finally got a chance and mal got her teeth brushed she was like oh my god i feel so much better so this will probably help mal feel a lot better but you know i'm i'm just a little stressed about it because like uh it would be easier i think if our shower had you know some showers have those little seats but ours doesn't have a little seat, we could have so bought a seat. I guess we could have bought a seat. I just I'm really scared about Mal falling, so I'm I'm gonna be careful, be really careful, and take it slow, and it'll be fine. But I'm gonna end the vlog here, and then if I remember, I'll talk about I'll talk about the results of that tomorrow. But I'm I'm expecting things will be fine. Just gonna take it slow, and everything will be okay. All right. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?